Hey yo, this is Mark's Max Muscle, and today we're going to be taking a look at Rufus Howard. He was an American bodybuilder, and much like Jesse Goutreau, his personal information was impossible for me to find. I believe Rufus was born in the late 1950s. He competed in the tall class, so I can imagine he was right around 6 feet tall, and I'm sure he weighed well over 200 pounds. Howard's footage was also very limited, but I feel that he had a fantastic physique and deserves a profile done on him. Rufus would place first in his class at the 1979 AAU Mr. USA contest. He would, however, fail to claim the overall title. In 1980, Howard would win a contest called the Orange County Championships. I am not sure of the affiliation of that event. In 1981, he would win a, the overall title at that year's NPC Gold Classic. And in the process, he placed ahead of Lance Dreher. In 1982, Rufus would receive the biggest win of his bodybuilding career. He would place ahead of a whopping 48 other competitors to claim the overall title at that year's AAU Mr. America contest. From 1983 to 1988, Howard attempted to claim the NABA Pro Mr. Universe Championships on uh, five different occasions, actually. A third place finish was all he could muster. That was his highest placing. Rufus would compete for his last time in 1989 at an event called the Super Bowl of Bodybuilding. And it was under the PBA promotion. He placed fifth. Howard may not be as famous as a Jay Cutler or a Ronnie Coleman, but here at Mark's Max Muscle, we feel that he deserves the same amount of respect, and I feel that he is worth mentioning. He is Rufus Howard, a bodybuilding legend.